excuse me, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Can you step over there, please? <laughs> Merry Christmas. Uh, yeah, there's quite the few bags you got there, ma'am. Oh, yes, well, there are lots of bags inside a department store. I understand that, but those are shopping bags. You have luggage. Now, if you're visiting here, I suggest maybe you find a hotel first, huh? Ah, uh, yes, that was my... My original plan, but after the cab ride, I realized that my budget is not going to support a hotel room. I just need to go in, find something, and then I'll be toddling along. Okay, what are you looking for? Christmas spirit. Yeah, well, this is a department store, not a bar? Oh, I don't need a bar. You see, my husband is having a hard time this holiday season, and he needs to be reminded that Christmas spirit still exists. It's very important. He's considering retirement. Yeah, well, a lot of people have a rough time during the holidays. But that's when we catch most of our shoplifters, eh? Oh, no, I don't need any of the things in there. We make most of those in our workshop. Oh, your workshop? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, who's your husband, lady? Well, you may not believe this, but it's Santa Claus. He goes by Nick. I I'm Becca Claus. Uh, w whatever, lady. Look, I'm just doing my job here, and you're not setting foot inside the store with your luggage, okay? Off you go. Have a nice day now. I wonder the naughty list is so long. Mrs. Clausberger? I'm home now. You should go to bed. Lucy. Did you have a good time? Oh, apparently not as good a time as you did. <laughs> oh, yes. Travis and I decided to do some decorating. Well, it looks beautiful. So did everybody eat. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Bailey made an appearance, but she ate her meal in her room. That's a breakthrough. Normally, she just eats microwave meals. Well, nobody can resist my cooking. Is everything all right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Parker offered me a dream job tonight. That's wonderful. It's in Florida. It's a job I can't refuse. Well, congratulations. Um, when does it start? Right after my divorce becomes final. He wants to move there together. You know, I'm... I'm tired. I'm gonna get to sleep. Do you need anything? Oh, no, 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 I'm, I'm fine. Okay. Is John asleep? Yes, Mom, I've just put him down. Damn it. I'm sorry. Where's Caroline? Well, she's asleep as well. I read to her from The Velveteen Rabbit. She loves that book. I know she does. I'm sorry. It's been a long day. Of course, ma'am. Good night. Good night. Mr. Preston? Where's my wife? She's in New Orleans, sir. Oh. Back in the morning. Right. This little <laughs> guy just doesn't want to go to sleep tonight. How are you? I'll take him. Sure, sir, he's getting awfully heavy. Well, I'm sure. Let's go. I got him. Oh, yeah. OK. Thank you. Hi. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to startle you. I was just admiring your garden. Thank you. Do you take care of it all by yourself? Oh, as much as I can. You know, I used to be a gardener. You know the big McPherson house over on Hilldale? I don't think so. I might have known once, but I tend to forget things nowadays. I worked there. That was a while ago. 
Mrs. Burns, are you all right? Oh, yes, I'm fine. This gentleman has been admiring my garden. Oh, that's nice. Well, your tea's ready, Mrs. Burns. Say goodbye to the gentleman. Goodbye. Goodbye. You weren't here when I came back? No. I couldn't do it, Pete. Not to our baby. Uh, Yours and mine. Uh, I know. We have a son. A beautiful baby boy. And we're all going to be so happy together. So happy. Annie? Do you want to go outside? Oh, who are you? I'm Betty Jo. I'm friends with Matt. He, he says he's my son, but he's not my son. I don't have a son. <laughs> the, other one, the other one reminds me of somebody. 